Are you looking for uh, building a large language model from scratch? You are at the right place. This is the repository what you see on my screen in building an LLM from scratch. This is my repository and brought to you by www.theskillpedia.com. In this uh, project, this is a complete course uh, on building large language model from scratch. Let's get started uh, with uh, cloning the repository. First, let's clone the repository on the local machine. So git clone and the repository and this will clone my repository. Once the repository is cloned, what you need to do is you need to install Miniforge if you don't have or you have to have Visual Studio code. And if you have Visual Studio code, let me first switch to the repository. If you have Visual Studio code, you simply need, uh, need to pull the .vs code directory into the root of this folder. So let me move the directory, which is under setup directory, .vs code to the current directory and launch the Visual Studio code. That's the one way to set up the environment. Because once you do that, uh, Visual Studio Code would automatically try to uh, install the packages, will ask you for installation of the packages. Let me go to the directory. I'm just opening the directory, which is this one. So once I open it, uh, the Visual Studio Code directory is there. So uh, Visual Studio Code will offer to install the packages from this repository. And see, this is what it is. Now this is done. This is done. This is done. Well, let me open the file. That's the power of uh, Visual Studio Code. And this is what I will restart Visual Co uh, Studio Code to up latest update. We can do this. That's recommended. Second way is let's install uh, Miniforge. And for that, I already have the repository on Miniforge. I mean, I have a command which I tried earlier. To install Miniforge on this machine, I will run the command. Let me uh, get my previous command. So I need to pull this command, 3666, exclamation mark 3666. This will pull the file, Miniforge in the current directory. Once the file is pulled, you, you simply need to execute it. So run it now as such, mini forge, press enter to continue. When you are done, you need to accept the license. Location, which is, uh, this will be installed in user info mini forge 3. Press enter key. Activating the base environment. We have activated it. And uh, this complete my environment. Uh, this is what has gone to this file initialization setup thank you for initializing mini force we are good here uh, one what we need to do is we need to close the shell and we need to launch the shell again and uh, if you do that you see the difference uh, the base environment is now active i want to deactivate it i can deactivate the environment using conda deactivate conda deactivate and I want to create a new environment with conda create hyphen n let's say LLMs and Python equal to let's say 3.12 it is recommended that you have uh, Python uh, one version behind the current version if your let's say uh, latest version of Python is 3.12 or 3.13 you should uh, install one previous version one older version so this will set up the environment and this will install uh, create a new environment with the name llm and these are the packages that will be installed yes this will set up my environment uh, which will basically install all the required packages corresponding to python 3.12 including pip and my environment to activate this environment uh, the command is conda activate llms the environment name now you can see my environment is activated advantage of creating the environment is that it will keep your work isolated 
all the packages which I will be installing specific to this building large language model from scratch will remain isolated and will not affect my existing environment or other environments. Where am I working? I need to go to the same directory where my labs is. And from here, I will launch my Jupyter lab. And this will start my Jupyter lab wherein I have my repository and everything you can see here uh, the part one part two part three this is a complete course and I will start from this point environment is ready same thing applicable for visual studio code also another uh, important aspect of this is you need to install packages to install the packages which are required for this project that is with this course complete course building large language model from scratch you have to use the command pip install hyphen r and from the file requirement.txt file this file have list of packages with specific version that is needed so this will install that so let me run this command now pip install hyphen r and requirement.txt this will install the packages needed for this course Let's go through the presentation also to understand the same environment. Environment setup for building large language model from scratch. Who am I by the way? Uh, you should know about me a bit. I'm Ram. Uh, you can call me Ram and Sangwan or simply Ram. Corporate trainer with 30 plus years of experience. I'm specialized in DevOps tools like Docker, Kubernetes, Rancher, Jenkins, Sensible, Terraform, Grafana, then uh, cloud, Oracle cloud, OpenStack cloud, AWS cloud, all cloud to be honest, when somebody uh, understand and somebody is expert on OpenStack, you can use any given cloud. OCI, multiple certifications like uh, architect associated, DevOps professional and uh, list of uh, list of technology is quite big. Actually, I, I know more than uh, 50 technologies out of which you can say that around 20, 25 technologies are even relevant today. Now for past two years, uh, three years, I've been researching on AI and generative AI. So this for, therefore generative AI is my uh, favorite subject now, my area of research as of now. In fact, next big course which is coming up is Agentic AI on the same channel. So subscribe uh, to the channel to learn more about Agentic AI after this is built. So the structure of the course is uh, building a large language model implement the data sampling and understand the basic mechanism that is stage one stage two will be foundation model pre-train the llm on unlabeled data to obtain the foundation model for further training then stage three will be classifier that is fine tuning will fine tune our model with the data uh, data set with class labels and will also fine tune it separately for instruction data set the stage one will be implemented in three labs first lab will be uh, implementing tokenizer understanding tokenizer data preparation and sampling that is the first part second lab would be attention mechanism we'll implement attention mechanism for the large language model third will be we'll create and implement the complete architecture of the model then we'll go for pre-training on unlabeled data for the model that will be lab four then training loop uh, let it, like training loop model evaluation and loading the pre-trained weights um, that will be the second stage stage two will be the uh, stage three will be fine tuning and that is fine tune the pre-trained llm to create classification model and then uh, lab nine will be fine tune the llm to create a personal assistant or a chat model that will be lab nine so local setup is the source code provided in the course in the repository is designed to run on a conventional laptop with a reasonable time frame and does not require specialized hardware I have tested all the code on M2 MacBook Pro Max with 32 gig of RAM on my system. Additionally, if your laptop or desktop computer has an NVIDIA GPU, the code will automatically take advantage of uh, this. Visual Studio Code, there are many good options for Visual Studio Code. Uh, that is, uh, one is Visual Studio Code, which is available to download from code.visualstudio.com. Uh, this is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux all operating systems so you are good to go even if you are working on Windows or Linux or Mac installing extensions as I demonstrated dot uh, VS code folder contains the all the required uh, 
extension which are needed for Visual Studio Code. If they are not already installed, uh, Visual Studio Code will automatically pick uh, the extension from this directory. These extensions provide a enhanced functionality and tools required for building the large language model. Move this uh, folder VS Code into the root directory as I demonstrated, I have done that. Then Visual Studio Code automatically check if the recommended extensions are already installed on your system and every time you open the building an LLM from scratch folder. Using Lightning Studio, you can also use uh, Lightning Studio which is uh, lightning.ai which allows users to set up a persistent environment and use both Visual Studio Code and Jupyter Lab on the cloud GPU and CPUs. Start a new studio, open the terminal and execute the setup uh, like where you clone the repository, you go to the directory and install the packages listed in requirements.txt file. Then navigate to the Python script or Jupyter Notebook you want to run. You can also easily connect a GPU to accelerate the code uh, runtime for example when you are pre treating the large language model or fine tuning it. Download and install Minifos. I have already demonstrated. You go to the repository where the link is there. If you are using Macbook M1 or M2 or M3 chipset, you can download the script directly from this location and this is the screen grab of what is available. Installing Minifos, it is a shell script as I demonstrated. If you are using Windows, it will be exe file. Open the file and I have demonstrated this uh, uh, installing the script using sh command and the script name. When download, where this download is the folder where you have your uh, shell script after download. And this is a screen grab of installing the same. You can see that uh, I run the script. So after the installation is complete, you will get something like this conda config uh, set auto config base equal to false if you want to deactivate the base environment. After installation was successfully completed, create a new virtual environment. This is what I also demonstrated conda create hyphen and LLMs python equal to 3.12. This is precisely I demonstrated. Many scientific computing libraries do not immediately support newest version of python. Therefore, as I suggested at the time of installation, it is advisable to use one version behind or one release older than the current version. Because current version is python 3.13, therefore I recommend that to use python 3.11 or 3.12. Activate the environment, conda activate LLMs and this is how you get the screen. This is precisely I demonstrated when you activated the environment. Mm -hmm. Install conda Jupyter lab is already taken care by the requirement.txt file. If you have not installed, install it. You can also use pip to install it and then install torch which are also there in the requirements.txt file. And this is a screen grab. Then uh, if you have Python uh, on your machine, that is if you have existing uh, setup, existing system with Python pre-installed, the quickest way to get started is to install packages from requirement.txt file. Clone the repository, change to the directory, execute pip command to install the content. This is what I also demonstrated pip install hyphen r requirement dot text. That's all for this demonstration and uh, setup. I hope you will be ready in uh, for the next session with your environment to build a large language model from scratch and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it uh, then when you'll have your own uh, large language model uh, build from scratch without using any third party model. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.